Hi right, guys, we're back with a nightly edition of Bully Breed and the Collar. Oh look, there was a big bird. He didn't say it though. And I say that all the time, and everybody that knows me knows I do say that, that you have got to safeguard speed. And if you said, what do you mean? Make sure that you can make that thing go fast. Not make sure you can make it stop. And if you said, why? Because uh, that's not going to work when it's far away from you. Well, he's got to run on me all the time. Anyway. Hi, Christopher. Please get that Sean O'Shea video off your page. I said he's got to be using this as an example of what an idiot this guy is. I can't even stand to look at that guy's face. I've never seen anybody. Nobody has. Where the guy's got the leash and the e-collar and everything and the dog and the leash wrapped around his hand six inches right there with the remote in the same hand. Uh, stop it. You can use these on bully breeds, but I... I don't know how I figured it out. And if you said, how did you? Probably that blue pit bull Indy. I figured out that if they start going slow, their plan from there is go slower. So I think you have to think whatever I have to do organically to get it moving. And honestly, Christopher, I thought about this. If you don't have water, do you have a four wheeler? I know you got to be careful with those things, but you could kind of get it running. If you had to get it running that way with it mechanically. Oh my God, look at the size of this fish. You could get it do that. I think if you said why, I think chemically. Good Lord, look at the size of that thing. Uh, you know, and you know that. Chemically, when they're running and stuff, it's, it's just a different... And it is, and it's an addictive frame of mind in dogs. It's an addictive frame of mind in people. And you've got to be part of that addiction. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. Okay, and remember, the dead fish is over here somewhere. Hopefully, it floated away by now, because it did rain. Oh, I can already see. Oh, no, please tell me it's not there. Oh, God, no, please. Oh, he's going to smell it in a minute. If you said, what am I going to do? Hi, Charles. I'm, I'm, I'm darting around looking for my blind corner that I can dive into. Oh, here goes his little, he's got his little flopping in the, let me see if I can kind of exit stage left over here. Oh, no, I'm sure he's the type if you started scratching him and stuff. Mm-hmm. Angus! And I do, I like to have that swoop. Oh, well, of course, you know, Christopher, that's what I do with my dog when I get gas. I leave, I get out of the van, I go, I open the side, I get the dog out, and I force it to stay by the gas pump. And if you said, why? Well, you know, <laughs> any number of reasons that don't make any sense. <laughs> it's, it's all backwards, and I know you understand that now. If you want to place a value on making a dog stay, that's going to fail. <laughs> Unless you are Mark Patton or Mike Lardy and you can do a two or three hundred yard remote sit, even then, I'll tell you where I don't put my dogs far away from me. You know, I keep the same policy with three year old children too. Not far away from me. That's where I keep them. Angus! Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Yay! Yay! Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, blocked, lo walked a block away and left it at the gas station? Well, what happens when it gets stolen? It's got to be that guy I was telling you about. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anyone put a dog in a triangle island with traffic going on three sides and leave it there as proof it's trained. And I tell people all the time, 
if that was proof of training, it would there would be some competition. Where the best in the traffic trainer could prove their worth. And if you said, where would it take place? Well, I'm guessing the Autobahn. I'm guessing the Autobahn. So if you said, what was I? And, and I'm going to tell you. Uh, I. Oh, no, Christopher, please find the video so we can see it. I must have, by force of habit, turned this back to zero. Because it wasn't on zero. And if you said, what were you doing back there? I was hitting the nick, but then when I was not seeing a dog immediately, I was turning it up as you go. And you've got to learn to do that. And the reason they're not going to have the kind of reaction that you don't want is because they're already used to the pager being there. Their body has other ways of telling them what's going on. And what it's telling them is that's them. That's what it's telling them. That's them. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you where this ass isn't allowed. Over in Luann's bushes. Oh, those are my bushes. It's so nice out, though, isn't it? It's, it's almost, I don't know, sometimes it's kind of surreal. You know, if you said, well, you're going to grow up, and then you'll just walk around in your pajamas and yoga pants all day, be live on Facebook, I'd say, what's, what's live and what's Facebook? <laughs> what's Facebook and what's live? If it wasn't for Angie Marie, I wouldn't even go on Facebook. She's like, you got to go on Facebook. I go, oh, can I get more video of you? She's like, yeah. I go, where is it? <laughs> where is this place? You can see, though, he pretty much stays with me. But he's always looking. He's always looking. And can you see if if I didn't have this, if I didn't have this, these actions as a handler, the dog isn't going to follow me. If my actions as a handler had been to put this thing on the leash and wrap the leash around my hand and walk along... <laughs> You've got a structure, and we need to say that, Chelsea. And this was I was talking to Mike about. Christopher, you'll understand this, too. The dog, ne the handler that's next to the dog and the handler that's away from the dog are two different animals. The dog sees the handler that's standing on the other side of the pond. They're not saying to him, yeah, I got the visual. It looks exactly like when I'm standing next to him it, at all. If anything, you look small. And if you said, well, what, what seems to get there? Moving. March like you're in the North Korean army. These things will spot you a mile away. Uh, so, yeah, my method isn't going to work in North Korea. They'll be chasing after the army. Uh, but, you know, it's a different handler. And if you said, well, give me an analogy. It's a different dog when it's far away from you. When it's right by you, that's one dog. When you look and that thing's way over there, that's another dog. It's like, how did it get over there? You know, you've got, a, you've got a structure. And then I think you have to have the seated handler. You have to have the moving handler. They should have clarity on who these people are. And if you said why, so that you could put other people in that role. So you could put other people in the role. The seated handler, I think, is the easiest handler. <laughs> That requires only that they sit there. <laughs> that is a good one. You know what I mean? And for service dogs and stuff, it's, you know, there's going to be cases where it's, that is the seated handler. And that's going to be easy for them to understand. All right, so I'm going to drive him over to the platform. This is the last walk of the night. And then he understands now that when I start putting this one and that one, I just put them, some of them in the garage, some of them in my room, some of them on the back porch. So he sees me jockeying these things all over the place. All right, let me put you guys on the thing here real quick. Oh, he's already headed for the platform. You know, and my job is, I think I'm, a, you know, to continue trigger, triggering these impulses until the permanence of habit has changed to that. I, you know, I, I don't know how else to explain it to people. When I start hearing people say corrections, I do start wincing. And Mike will tell you, when I first met him, he said to me, I found he had this horrible pinch collar video. He'll, he'll admit it. And I, my response was, I realize now I test people. My response was, I would take this down. <laughs> At which point he messaged me back. Can you see how mortified this guy was? Messaged me back. Oh, you're right. I took it down. And, but then he says, I'm like, well, I think corrections are important, don't you? And I said, no, I don't. But he's trying to get the dumbbell. This little monkey shine is trying to climb up here and get the dumbbell. All right. Let me see if I can get him to pick it up. He's trying to get it himself. 
I think initially you do want to start out with this because that gives it value. Clearly it values that thing. So remember, I got my invisible basket back here and then I set it there. And remember, last time it was the dumbbell. I changed to the mucklucks because we were kind of getting the nose pushing thing. He remembered what it was, though. It would be cute if he picks it up. Oh, you precious, precious monkey. I hope Chelsea saw you. And again, I, I acted on intuition. I actually wasn't going to work him on that, but he saw the dumbbell sitting over there. My dumbbells have gone missing. I can't find any of them. I'm going to have to order a whole new set. But... I just changed the object to something else. I still had the seemingly invisible basket and I still had the setting it down there. I was fast too. I think I think it's important to let them know that one in the B. I'm I'm limited. I'm trying, but my little hands, my little hands are all bent. My hands can't be cute. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that was my drop, but I just start the sequence over again. His mouth is perfect. I, I was questioning whether he could pick this thing up, but he can pick it up perfect. And if he learns to pick it up in the middle, it'll be the best. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you. But again, I don't start petting him, I, you know. You have to have some kind of deadpan. Either that or you're like that one, uh, you know, they've got sitcom characters where this person's just constantly perky and cheery all the time. It's, uh, it was that one, uh, I can't remember, but whoever they met and they thought, oh, like I'm so special. She, but then they saw she's like that with everybody. It's like, hey. All right, so there's my invisible basket, some kind of fumbling. Then it appears. <laughs> and then you have to do the squirrel laugh. That little boy was doing it after one day of being around me. It could spread. It could spread. But, you know, if you said, well, you're combining the verbal, the body language, and the facial expression, yes. And I do see, you see where they look back. And if you said, well, you're creating a look back, I, I know, but you can move that out of the sequence. And we're talking about a shaped behavior here, people. We're not talking about strange retrieve, but I, yeah, I do see where this is crucial. And, but you've got to use the right level of subtlety. All right, let's do it one more time. I'm actually pretty amazed. So the transition was from the, um, the little tennis shoe, which is no more um and then the mucklucks and then this so i only had to go back yeah yeah small shoes are a part of this exercise chelsea's like what <laughs> uh write that down no race that part chelsea race all right look so here's the basket there's there's some kind of fumbling back here there I'm trying. Anyway, that, I'm sorry. It's beyond cute. Am I wrong? Can you even believe him? And that, and that, but that is a shaped behavior. And the benefit of that is, and, and again, if you said, what's the benefit? I mean, the benefit is, it was his idea. He saw them up there. He was trying to climb up in the chair. All right, Chelsea wants to see you do it one more time. And my problem is, I, I, if I go like this, he might bend back my way a little bit. Yeah, he bends the other way. I think you have to say to yourself, I can... It's getting farther away now. He's really going to have the dilemma. I think you have to say to yourself, I can bend their head with my eyes. Watch his head. 
I have to pay for 11th place. My dilemma is now it's far away. And, and if you said, well, then that's a problem he has to solve. It is in a way. He's getting it closer. He's getting it closer. That's the wink and the nod. I'm doing that. I'm doing it to him, but I'm still looking at the thing. She said, what you can do, do to help them? got to believe I think you've got to believe I can bend it once you believe you can bend their head with your eyes eh, you're just in a better position my job is to get it right away <laughs> oh that was 11th place all right look I'm gonna start the sequence over again though so it's behind and I think there needs to be a deliberateness about the way you're doing it not not phony and not staged, just whatever. He doesn't know these things have to be jiggled in an invisible basket. Then you set them down. And then these people pay. These, these people will pay for this shit. Anyway, I'm beyond amazed with him, and it's hard not to get attached to him. He's trying so hard. It's very unlikely for a bulldog. Hello, bulldog. Uh, Surian. I hope you can get your bulldogs doing this. It's very unlikely, but you saw Chelsea. His mouth fit on there perfectly. I didn't think his mouth could fit on there. That's why I was getting the shoes and stuff in the beginning. Anyway, you guys, I got to go. Chelsea, this was I going to tell you, too. I think we should get just like a skeleton website up for now. And then maybe if you show me how to do it, I could maybe work on it a little bit, too. If there was, if there was a frame that I could act within. Do you see how that's how my life works? All right, look, he's looking around. He sees those things up there, though. It's very interesting. Because he hasn't seen the dumbbells maybe in like a week. Because I remember I abandoned those for the shoes. <laughs> and so should you. So you said, if it doesn't pick up a dumbbell, go get small shoes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I suggest. <laughs> get the smallest shoes you can find. All right, guys, I'll be back tomorrow. But yeah, I'm glad you saw that, Chelsea. I think that was pretty cute. But I just went on the fact that he, was, uh, he saw him in the chair and was trying to get him. So he... He doesn't forget the fact that that was my idea, and I could get it to go along. All I had to do was act interested. Okay, yeah, no, I know, girl, no, I know. It, if I've been planning on doing it for like nine years, but I could never get... But I, I could just find different pictures to add, or so I could help somehow. <laughs> Instead of just being a burden on the world with my... Uh, social media addiction, t sucking up everyone's bandwidth and making, forcing them, all of them to get <laughs> unlimited data. <laughs> anyway, but that was really, I can still though, I mean, if I want, I like him to be nice and geared up, but I'm saying to myself, I can conjure some speed with this page. Uh oh, I'm all out of treats though. Oh, sorry, no more, all out of treats. You can see that though, and you know, always. You know, we need to have a special section in the ebook. There's a certain expectation. And if you said blanket, bully breed, safeguard the speech, yeah. And if there's somebody else that says, don't safeguard the speech, show me their work. <laughs> Who cares? We will. We will show you the work, and then you don't like it, and you start picking on them. <laughs> I'm awful. <laughs>